All right, ladies and gentlemen, introducing you to the two fighters. Again, we do it here for my three-minute rounds. Introducing to you first, standing across in the blue corner. He weighed in officially 78.8 kilos. Trained out of the extreme boxing gym at Burp and Gary under the guidance of Miles Collins. Three professional fights, one win, one draw, and the one loss. Make some noise, Brisbane. This is Hayden. Hold my beer, Emerson. And his opponent standing across in the red corner. He weighed in officially 79.8 kilos. From the Gold Coast, he's trained out of the heartbreak conditioning gym. Tonight, he makes his much anticipated professional debut. Give it up, this is Cole Smith! Great to have you with us as we welcome you back to Boxing Bazaar 3. Thanks to Four Elements Promotions. This one should be an absolute cracker. We've got Hayden Emerson, who has been on all previous 4EP shows. This kid can fight from Extreme Boxing Gym. He takes on Cole Smith tonight. He's professional debut out of heartbreak conditioning. Comes from an MMA background, Nathan. As we're underway, an intriguing this contest, one. this one. Yeah, really intriguing. Uh, I saw Hayden Anderson not so long ago in his last fight. Uh, he's had a mixed bag of results in his three fights to date. He's had one win, one loss, one draw. We last saw Hayden back in June, like I said, where he suffered his first loss. So he'll be trying to right that wrong here tonight. Indeed, Hayden Emerson out of Extreme Boxing Gym and Cole Smith. Well, he runs Heartbreak Conditioning down on the Gold Coast. And Cole making his professional boxing debut tonight. This will be a good fight. Uh, Hayden Emerson's got the runs on the board. Cole Smith, very dangerous opponent. Well, he's been in and around the sport, like you said, the whole time. So even though it's, uh, it's his pro debut, he's seen a lot of it. He's uh, watched tapes, no doubt. He's seen other people spar and fight, so he's no stranger to the sport. Emerson looking very composed. Hayden Emerson early on. Cole Smith, uh, a little bit of a tentative start from him. This one over four three-minute rounds. Catch weight of 69.85 kilos for these two gentlemen. Yeah, a big looping shot there from Cole Smith, and there's another one just missing the mark, two missing the mark now. He's trying to get his feet underneath himself, and he, that will only happen if he leads with his jab. Emerson with a nice double jab cross there. Another four by three minute contest this one. So more of a sprint than a long endurance, long, long endurance race. So not much time to state their claim, both boys, as they start winding it up right now. As we go into the last minute of this first round. One of four. Good body shot there from Emerson. Yeah, strong left body shot. Got him with the left there too, did Emerson. Yeah, good job. Very technically sound is Emerson. Remember seeing him in his last fight, even though he lost, he was still very good. He's looking very relaxed out there too, Emerson. Yeah, controlling the ring, and he's controlling the pace of the fight because he's dictating. You can see when he wants to throw punches, he'll throw punches. Not much is coming from the other man, Cole Smith. Hopefully we'll warm into it the next round. But at this stage, like I said, Hayden Emerson controlling that is the fight. Who gets the first round in your humble opinion? Definitely ha Hayden Emerson. All right, as both fighters go to their corner, there is Hayden Emerson on screen. Let's have a look at the moments that mattered in the first. Yeah, like I said, a very measured round from Hayden Emerson. Fought within himself, but scored when he had to. What a great job Lahanko, McNaught, the Dee McCauley's do at Four Elements Promotions. They, another great event. Yeah, another sold out audience here tonight. And it's uh, well, every fight's been unbelievable. So, yeah, hats off to them. They're doing a great job.
So back underway. Very intrigued to see what Cole Smith produces uh, here. I've, I've been to Heartbreak, Nath. I've done some sessions down there. Okay. He's yep. a hard man, Cole. Okay. Yeah, he's just, uh, you can see, he's, you can already see he, his energy's already stepped up in the second round. So he's just got to convert that with some scoring shots now. Hayden Emerson looking to for his second pro win. Yeah, being very effective with that lead hand. You can see jabbing, hooking with that lead hand, keeping his opponent at bay. That was a good shot there from Cole Smith as he lunged in. Yep, just having to remind himself there, Cole, that he has to stop and start a little bit more in boxing. Aiden Emerson controlling ring position here. Like I said, just controlling the pace of this fight. You can see, he just he knows whenever whenever Cole Smith comes in, he just sticks a jab in and this, it stops the train on his tracks. Very patient performance thus far from Emerson. Very measured from Cole Smith early on. I expect him to get more lively as this fight goes on, Nathan. Well, desperation will kick in because he's probably, you know, he's down definitely the first round and probably the first half of the second round he's down. So he'll, he'll get a little bit more desperate you'd, you'd find in the third and fourth round. So we we'll have to throw him off. I feel like he's, he's just still trying to just find his feet, no pun intended. And then we might just see him let loose a little bit. He just looks like he's just trying to find his way out there, doesn't he? Well, he's a tricky customer, Emerson, because as soon as he comes, he takes one step forward, he takes one step back, always controlling that distance at the same the same rate. So he's a very tricky customer, especially for somebody on debut. Smith just managing to get out of harm's way there from the right from Emerson. Yeah, and Emerson doing everything right, staying centre ring. The whole fight has been fought in the centre ring, and that's exactly where he wants it to be. In tip-top condition to Emerson. Hardly an ounce of fat on him. There's a right as he pushes forward. And little double left combination there. Yeah, using that lead hand so effectively. A jab, then a hook. You, you watch it. It's a, it's a combination that he does repeatedly. Jab, hook. Jab hook, there it is once again. The final 10 seconds of this second round. And Emerson looks to be in cruise control to finish the second. Very, very intrigued to see how Cole Smith responds. There's still plenty of time in this fight, Nathan. Yeah, we're at the halfway point, but uh, yeah, very controlled. If nothing changes, Emerson's gonna probably have the easiest win of his career because he's uh, dictating the pace. He's, he's shooting when he wants to, and he's just controlling that centre ring, like I said. The whole fight has been fought in that centre ring, and that's exactly where Hayden Emerson wants it to be fought. I feel like Smith has just been in second gear all fight, though, Nathan. I'd, I'd love to see him throw caution to the win, just like we asked of John Min earlier. Yeah. I'd love to see Cole Smith throw caution to the win. And I still think we're going to see that, Nathan. And I know you talk about desperation, but I think as he just gets further in this fight, he'll just get a little bit more confidence in his own ability. Yeah, or these, I mean, he's growing. He's not growing by the fight because he hasn't had fights. He's growing by the round. So uh, let's hope so. Let's hope this third round is a lot more active for Cole Smith. He'll have to get his skates on, though. So third round, Emerson in control up until this point. Cole at arm's length at the moment is Hayden Emerson. Just looked at, looks a lot more balanced to me, Hayden Emerson. Yeah, he's uh, completely controlling this fight, and it's all from that lead hand and the distance he's been able to maintain the whole fight. You can see he's uh, trying to bob and weave is Cole Smith, but he's not getting close enough to score effective shots on his opponent. Beautiful footwork from Emerson. 
and a beautiful lead hand. I keep on repeating it, but that lead hand is winning him that this fight. So Cole Smith and Hayden Emerson going toe to toe here as we approach the halfway mark of the penultimate round. It's Hayden Emerson who's got the three professional bouts under his belt coming tonight just looking a little bit more comfortable out there and playing things on his terms at the moment yeah it there's is a that, big right from cole smith that's the best punch so far for cole smith he needs more of it now will he come to life that is the question well, he's running out of time there's only a minute left in this and three more minutes in the next round so he's got four minutes left of action He's got to start, and he's got to start now as Emerson shoots once again. Emerson missing with that left uppercut. And the clinch, and uh, just keep fighting here. Right hand just catching the side of the head once again. Cole Smith throwing that bolo. He's got plenty of support here tonight, Hayden Emerson. He's a crowd favourite. Appeared in every 4EP show to date. Continues that streak tonight. Yeah, very good on his feet. Very balanced. Very light. Tried to, oh, tried to catch him with that uppercut. Just missing the mark. But turns beautifully. Puts his opponents back to the ropes instead of his. Final seconds, you can hear the support for Emerson here tonight. Yeah, Emerson's so comfortable in there. He's barely breathing. He's having it all his own way. This is like a sparring session for him. Only one round to go. It's now and ever for Cole Smith as we take a look at the very best moments from round three. Yeah, very measured round once again from Aiden Emerson. Doesn't look phased at all. And it's because he's pressing the fight. He's pushing the fight. He's sort of fighting at his, at his, at his distance, at his pace. Good shots there from Emerson. Cole Smith is willing, don't get me wrong, but just... Is he able, Nathan? Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, I'm being honest. Not, not well, that's why you're on the big bucks, Nathan. Yeah, you got to <laughs> call it how you see it. <laughs> not today. Not today. Maybe in a, in a few fights' time, but it is his pro debut, so I'd, I'd, you can't make the, that much of an adjustment based on what I've seen in the first three rounds. Well, last round. I'm sure the crowd and viewers at home would just like to see Cole not die wondering. We've got one round to go. Here we go, the final round. Hayden Emerson and Cole Smith. You're watching Boxing Bazaar 3 live here at the Greek Club in Brisbane. Huge crowd in, loving their boxing here tonight. Hayden Emerson just really in his comfort zone. Can Cole Smith take him to a place where Emerson doesn't want to be? Yeah, He's once, got to try something different. Once again, Drury, just more of the same. You can see just fighting within himself, just doing what he has to do, not risking too much. There was a big swing and a miss there from Cole Smith, but just not enough of it. Hayden Emerson just reading it so well out there at the moment. And look where he is, right in the centre of the ring once again. The least dangerous place in the ring is the centre of the ring because you've got options to escape left and right, forward and backwards. Cole Smith, who's hails from New Zealand. Emerson just really, I mean, Cole Smith's got to do something here, Nathan. He's just got to do something. Yeah, not enough output at all. He's just uh, loop it back. It's more of the same from rounds one, two, and three. It's just an exact repeat here. He hasn't changed up anything this last round. I think that 10-second 
Flacco was probably a minute too early because there's still a minute 10 left on our clock, but they've <laughs> they've cut this extremely short this round. Goodness gracious, well, well, well. That was a two minute round instead of a three minute round. That but, is mind boggling. But nonetheless, I think uh, the writing was on the wall. A complete dominating performance by that man in the blue corner, Hayden Emerson. Oh, no bones about it, Nathan. One way traffic from start to finish. As you said, dominating Cole Smith. Smith just had no answer for Emerson. And, well, I don't know if Cole Smith can look himself in the mirror and say that he left everything out there tonight. If he, if he has, then so be it. But I would have liked to have seen him try a little more in terms of... All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get set to uh, make this one official. Put your hands together for the uh, two fighters here. Again, another cracking contest on this card. The judge Phil Holliday scores the bout 40 to 36. Judge Paul Williams judges the contest 40 to 36. And Judge Trent Van Gatlin scores the contest 40 to 36. All for your winner by unanimous decision. And it goes uh, to uh, the blue corner, Hayden. Hold my beer. Congratulations to Hayden Emerson, another professional victory, and uh, he did it in a canter. But well done to Hayden Emerson and the team.